CHIS2 is a product of the HISP Center at the University of Oslo, also known as HISP UIO. HISP is a global action research network initiated jointly by the University of Oslo and the University of the Western Cape in South Africa in 1994, with funding from the Norwegian Agency for Development Corporation, NORAD. As a result of the HISP collaboration, the District Health Information Software, or DHIS, was launched in South Africa in 1996, starting in one district and becoming their national standard health information system in 1999. From its initial conception, the core aim of DHIS2 has been to support local management of healthcare delivery and information flow in low- and middle-income countries. To that end, we share our software, DHIS2, globally as a digital public good. The original DHIS software functioned using local, offline databases, but this resulted in challenges in aggregating and sharing data, as well as scaling up implementations over time. As a result, in 2004, development of a web-based DHIS-2 began at the University of Oslo. As DHIS-2 is web-based, users can enter and access their data anywhere with internet connectivity. This model is still being expanded upon today as DHIS-2 incorporates the latest web-based technologies to improve DHIS-2's performance and increase its functionality. This includes offline data entry for areas with internet connectivity challenges and the incorporation of a mobile application for Android devices. The first implementation of the web-based DHIS-2 software was launched in 2006 in Kerala, India. In 2009, DHIS-2 added components that allowed for the collection of individual data. This was in direct response to requirements in Kerala where prospective mothers were tracked through their antenatal care services. This individual data model eventually evolved into DHIS-2 Tracker. 2007 saw the first implementation of DHIS-2 in Africa, starting with Sierra Leone. This was followed in 2010 by Kenya, then Ghana, Rwanda, and Uganda. In 2011, the DHIS-2 Academy training program began. The University of Oslo, in collaboration with HISP groups, offers regional DHIS-2 academies every year on key DHIS-2 topics. Since 2017, the university has also run the DHIS-2 Online Academy, which provides online courses for self-paced study. In 2012 and 2013, Adoption of DHIS-2 as a national platform for routine health information continued in Africa, Asia, and Latin America with support from NORAD, the Global Fund, and PEPFAR. In 2014, the HISP network assisted health authorities in Liberia in deploying DHIS-2 tracker for the Ebola outbreak response. With the support of the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Gates Foundation, Gavi, and other partners, the initial tracker models deployed in Liberia have since been expanded upon for case-based surveillance of other diseases, including COVID-19. In 2015, Datum was launched, a PEPFAR-specific version of DHIS-2. Datum is used by PEPFAR in more than 50 countries. Datum continues to be one of the largest examples of a global data warehouse within DHIS-2. 
Sharing standards and collating subnational HIV data routinely across large and varied geographies. In 2017, UIO became an official World Health Organization collaborating center for innovation and implementation research for health information system strengthening. This collaboration led to the metadata package concept a method of sharing best practice configuration and functionality developed by DJS2 and health subject matter experts. 2018 saw the DHIS2 Community of Practice launch, providing an online portal to help the community of DHIS2 practitioners to connect with each other and share best practice globally. 2019 saw DHIS2 being piloted as an education management information system in the Gambia and Uganda, extending the use of DHIS2 into the education domain for school and infrastructure management, student tracking, and more. In 2020, DHIS2 was quickly adopted to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. The University of Oslo worked with the HISP network to launch COVID-19 metadata packages that allowed countries to rapidly implement case-based surveillance, contact tracing, and ports of entry programs. In 2021, new metadata packages were released to support the delivery of COVID-19 vaccines based on previous work developing the DHIS2 Immunization Toolkit with the support of WHO, UNICEF, and Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance. DHIS2 continues to evolve thanks to the work of the core DHIS2 team and HISP network, the support of our international partners, and the input of the global DHIS2 community who help sustain DHIS2 as a global public good that can adapt to meet the health information needs of the future.